I'm starting to get really nervous. <laughs> Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different for my channel and that is a vlog of me getting my over the garden wall tattoo and I just thought it would be a fun idea to go along with me on this experience and all of the nerves and excitement that goes along with that. <laughs> so not only is this a vlog of me getting a tattoo, it is a vlog of me getting my first tattoo. <laughs> Well, that's not quite true. You see, when I was in seventh grade, I was a newbie at shaving my legs. And because of that, I often got nicks on my ankle or really big cuts <laughs> on my leg. And after a shower one day, because I was and have always been just that cool, I thought, mm, now is a great time to practice calligraphy with my ink and quill pen. So I sat down after my shower at my desk with my pot of blue ink and my pen, and I spilled the ink all over my leg. And a little bit of blue ink got in a cut from my, my shower. And I have a pale blue dot on my ankle to this day. I like to call it my Carl Sagan tattoo. But as far as traditional tattoos go, my first one is happening today. So as for the design I'm getting, I am getting this pair of crane scissors with a piece of string here. This piece of art is from a larger flash sheet by the artist Lindsay Oneda. You can see the whole flash sheet here as well as her Instagram social. And I saw this flash sheet and I just fell in love with all of the pieces really, but especially Adelaide scissors. Now, if you're looking to get somebody else's artwork tattooed on you that's not made especially for you by your tattoo artist, make sure you have permission from the artist first. Some artists like Mab Graves will put a post out about every year or so saying I'm totally fine if people use my work for tattoos, while some other artists just straight up aren't okay with it and you need to respect that. But when I saw this flash sheet, I immediately commented asking if I could use this design tattooed and luckily for me, Lindsay said yes. Now sometimes artists will ask you to support them in some way. Lindsay didn't ask this, but I am planning to purchase a print or a shirt. As soon as she updates her shop, it's currently empty, but I am waiting. And I'll link her shop down below as well if you want to support her too. Grab a print of this amazing flash sheet. <laughs> so with the art part all taken care of, it was time for me to choose an artist. I've always known that I've just wanted grayscale work on my body. Because I like to have so much fun with my clothes and my hair, I wanted the art on my body to be more or less pretty neutral, that it could go with almost any of my aesthetics. And so I wanted to choose an artist that specialized in grayscale work for this tattoo. And when I came across Tess's work at Divine Ink Devon, I I knew she had to be the gal for me. Her work, I thought, really matched up with the style of the illustration I was getting. So why this design? Well, first things first, I love Over the Garden Wall more than almost anything. It's just everything that I love in a story. My favorite story to explore through art and movies is Alice in Wonderland. And to me, Over the Garden Wall is a modern retelling of Alice in Wonderland. Instead of Wonderland, it's the unknown. Instead of Alice, it's the two brothers. And their relationships and sense of self are being challenged by this nonsensical world that they must navigate. As for why I'm choosing Adelaide Scissors, if you haven't seen Over the Garden Wall, which I definitely recommend you should watch it. These scissors can be used to break a spell. And for me, with all these ideas combined, it's symbolic of breaking a spell that's been put upon you, taking ownership of your creativity. It also doesn't have to be that deep either. I also just really like the design. So for me, it's kind of a perfect harmony of meaning and aesthetics and this thing that I love. And I'm excited. So now I'm going to talk about my feelings. My appointment is in an hour and I'm excited but nervous. <laughs> this appointment has been rescheduled like four times since last September. So I've had a while to think about this design. And now that it's actually happening, I'm starting to get really nervous. <laughs> Like all of a sudden, I've started to be aware of the pain of tattooing, where I've not really thought about it before. Now it's like coming up and about to be real. I think I have a pretty high pain tolerance. 20 years of serious dancing has given me plenty of pain and aches. 
I also suffer from ultra painful periods, so I like to think my pain scale is fairly high. But this is also something I've never done before, so the threat of the unknown is creeping into my psyche. And it's just the idea of permanently changing your body is exciting, but nerve-wracking at the same time. Even filming this and doing this video, just talking about my nerves, I feel better about it and more calm. And now I am going to make myself a good meal so I can go get tattooed on a full stomach and I'll see you at the studio. At last, it was time to make my way to Divine Ink to meet with Tess. After being welcomed and taking a look at the proposed size, it was time to go upstairs to get started. First, we put on the stencil to make sure I liked the location. And with that approved, it was time to get tattooing. The pain was totally manageable. Though some parts were a little bit more intense than others. After an hour and a bit, it was finished and I got to take my first look in the mirror. All right, we are back. I am super, super happy. I think Tess did an amazing job. As far as my experience goes, honestly, all my nerves were put at ease immediately. Tess did such a good job getting me excited for my first tattoo ever, and she made the experience totally enjoyable. So obviously this is the same, same day, and I'm really excited to see how it heals. As far as pain goes, I would have rated it about a 5 out of 10. The parts further down in the like squishier parts and more sensitive parts of my arms, those hurt a little bit more than the stuff on top of my arm felt pretty, pretty okay. It was very manageable. I'm sure if I got it on a different place, that experience might be a little bit different. Yeah, I'm, I'm very pleased. So it has been one week since I got my tattoo and I thought I would film a little update, check in with how I'm feeling, how it's healing and go over my experience now that I've had a little bit of time to reflect on it. Oh, and obviously I dyed my hair because apparently I cannot have time off without making some silly decisions. That's pretty cute. I was aiming for more of a pastel, but I'm sure it will fade to that one day. So it's been one week since I got my tattoo and as for how I'm feeling about it, I am still so happy with it. I love it. I think it is beautiful. It is healing very nicely so far. So it has been, it's been one week and you can see some spots are getting a little bit scabby. Some parts are starting to peel a little bit, but that is all normal parts of the healing process. And yeah, I just can't wait to see how it heals as as time goes by. As far as making the jump to go to, to your first tattoo, that is so hard, but now it's like I've given myself permission that this is a thing I can do to my body, and i am already got the gears, got the gears a-turning for future, um, future tattoos. <laughs> yeah, I got some ideas. I would also love like getting you guys involved in one someday, maybe. I'm getting ahead of myself. I have one tattoo and I'm like, yeah, I'm a girl with tattoos. I spent the morning watching Ink Master on Amazon Prime because now I'm a girl with tattoos. But yeah, feeling really good about it, really positive about my whole experience. And I will keep you guys updated, probably mostly on Instagram, about how it looks when it's finally healed. I would love to know if you have any tattoos or do you have any plans for tattoos? Are you somebody with a lot of plans, but not a lot of guts? You know, let me know how you're doing. What do you think of my crazy hair? I'm back after a week off. So I'm feeling good and excited for the weeks ahead. And I hope you are too. Thank you so much for watching if you made it this far. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate if you could like it. And if you want to see more from me, please subscribe. I upload new videos every Friday. I hope you have a great day wherever you are and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.